What is the deal with these big grills on cars? Why is this a fad? And why can so many people just not get it right? Now, behind me is the Lexus RX 500H, and yes, that's quite a mouthful, but so is this grill. But you know what? It fits the car quite nicely, don't you think? It fits the aesthetics very, very well. Now, what I like about this car is it's economical on fuel with a 2.4 litre engine that has hybrid assistance. The hybrid system is really, really cool with this car because it will start on electric power, it will be so silent you won't even know the engine is on, which is still kind of weird to me to this day, but it saves on fuel, which is a fantastic feature. They've refined the interior, they've made it just look so much better. And it's just hard that every time you look at one of these cars, how are they gonna do better next year? What are they gonna do with the next iteration? Are they gonna add this? Are they gonna add that? Well, Lexus added everything that you can imagine inside of this car, including an HD infotainment system that's touch screen. I have an obsession with weird and wonderful things and strange things as well. And one of the weirder things here, but it's weird in a good way, by the way, is the door handle. Look, it seems seemingly normal. It doesn't look like a different door handle, but no, it doesn't even open. Look, you actually just press the back and it opens up. So the strangeness of the door handle doesn't start from the outside, it continues inside. Now remember, it's strange, but in a good way. It's a unique feature to this car. You just press this button and the door will open. And then you double tap as well for a safety measure if the door doesn't open that way. But before I go, I want to ask you one question. Do you think Lexus got it right with the RX 500H or is it too complicated? Let me know in the comment section below.